So if you've ever played Skyrim, you will know there's this place called Riften that has a very seedy underbelly, and that is Helga's bunkhouse. If you go into Helga's bunkhouse, you'll be met by Helga, and if you head over and approach her, she will say to you... If you're looking for a bed, this is the wrong place. This is the wrong place for a bed, but it's called the bunkhouse. So we read the note at the end and it says, Sweet Helga, last night was the most wonderful night of my life. The things you showed me, the things we did. I could never have dreamt that it was possible. Who even knew that someone could manipulate their body in that manner while wearing Daedric armor boots? You are a true master of the Debellan arts, my love. A credit to your religion. Perhaps we'll meet again soon, but next time allow me to bring the... Trout? Hmm. Your secret lover. But what could all this mean? Let's go and find out. Now, I wouldn't advise stealing the note, because... How dare you! How dare you! She says, you? how dare you twice. She's obviously clearly mad. So then we, uh Go and have a look around, and this conversation starts. With people you barely know. They show no real love for you. It's only a bit of fun. You're a lovely young thing. You should try it sometime. No, I'm saving myself for someone special. Someone who loves me dearly. You mean Sibby? You must be joking. All he wants to do is bed you and be done with it. You may as well get it over with and let him. You're wrong. Sibby and I are in love, and you're just jealous. Sorry about the mess. Work? I suppose you can call it that. I call it slavery. I work my fingers to the bone keeping this disgusting place clean. Ever since my parents died and Helga took me in, it's been a nightmare. How was I to know she was such a wretched woman? So now I'm stuck living here, while those pigs she calls customers grope me and say the most awful things. It's not just the work, it's everything about her. She's disgusting. I think she takes her worship of Debella a bit too seriously. Do you know she slept with three different men in the last month alone? What kind of woman would do such a thing? Just for once, I'd like to see her squirm. To rub her nose in it. To rub a nose in what though? Let's dig a little deeper. Yourself. So we go upstairs and we find these beds, these bed chambers, full of beds that you can sleep in. Now, I will try and sleep in them at the end of the video. So far nothing's happened, but I will keep going and see if something does. But if you go back downstairs behind Helga, there's her main chamber. You go in, there's a business ledger which will be full of her customers. Hmm, what type of customers? I don't know. You move over, there's a shrine, a pot of honey. I'm going to activate the shrine because that's the way to relieve my diseases. There's leather strips, say no more. A big pot of honey. My mind, my innocent mind can't wonder what that's for. There's a dresser with just some random clothes in. There's a bed. To the left of the bed, there's a book that you can read behind these flowers. We go over to the dresser here. And there's a little book and some potions. The book is called The Lusty Argonian Maid. Okay, I'll let you read that. As you go over here on the shelf, there's loads of minor stamina and vigor potions. I wonder what they could be for. A strong box that's full of gold. What's that gold for? Hmm. And then as you move over to the bed, there's some shackles. Kinky. Open and close. Nice. You can't sleep in this bed though, I've not yet figured out how. But underneath there's a bed, there's a hawker tusk. Don't know what that's for, don't want to even think. And some leather straps. So this is the beautiful underbelly of Riften. I'll let you explore it further. As you go upstairs you can sleep in the bed, so I'm going to go and do that now. And it will open up. Sorry about the mess. Yeah, let's not think too much about the mess. Don't want to think about it as I'm heading upstairs. So you can sleep in these beds upstairs next to the warm fire. It's a free sleep, which is good. So far, I've not found anything else that's actually happened by sleeping in these beds until I slept in one 
for a good 14, 15 hours, which I'll show you here. Once I've slept this long, you get another NPC conversation open up, which I'll show you now. Modesti, why don't you just take a bed here? There's no need to sleep in Beggar's Row. The cold stone, the dampness, it suits me, Svana. Are you sure that's the real reason? It wouldn't have anything to do with others making an Argonian unwelcome. Because if it is... You have a kind heart. Much too kind for Riften. Don't worry about me. I'll be just fine. Safe travels, Landstrider. So I'm now wondering, is there a way to save her from this horrible Helga? If you know anything further, let me know in the comments.